Hi, I thought today I'd talk a little bit about um, what might be involved in a pianist's warm-up routine. Obviously one of the things that we do as part of our practicing is to um, do some technical exercises, scales, arpeggios and things like that in order to um, keep up our finger strength, our dexterity and suppleness and develop our technique and hopefully continue to work at improving our technique. I'm going to take you through briefly what I do as my warm-up routine and um, I look forward to hopefully getting some comments from you all about what you do and how that compares. I think one of the first thing that's good to do is to just do a few stretches, just relax um, the muscles, particularly in the kind of back, the upper shoulders and things like that, um, so that you are relaxed and comfortable at the piano. Um, often I just sit down at the piano, first of all, and to make sure I'm sat comfortably, um, just run the hands along the keys up and down a few times, making sure that my feet are firmly on the floor so I'm well balanced, and making sure that feels nice and comfortable. I then go on to actually doing my warm-up exercises as part of my playing. Now I use this book, uh, which is Geoffrey Tankard and Eric Harrison, Piano Forte Technique on an Hour a Day. Now I must admit, with my own teaching work and um, other things that I need to do, I rarely manage to devote a whole hour each day to technique work. But I adapt this, and so normally I can fit in a half hour of technique work, and I'll adapt this to fit a half hour. In the front here we have a suggested practice chart um, covering six days of the week and basically it covers all the main areas of piano technique, five finger exercises, scales, arpeggios and so on. I supplement that, there's loads of exercise within that book, but I supplement that with the Hannon exercises, some Cherny exercises, Dochnanyi and of course um, Brahms 51 exercises as well. So. I will spend time every day doing things such as five finger exercises, scales, and then other areas um, which I use this chart and you focus on different areas each day. So some days I'll do some work on um, the weaker fingers, three, four and five, on trills. Some days on arpeggios, um, every day doing a little bit on octaves and double notes. Um, tonal gradation, that's an important one I feel, where you work at um, playing very softly and gradually building in volume, using the arm weight and everything to get the right tone, and also playing chords and trying to bring it different notes in a chord. I think that's a very useful exercise to do, to develop a good tonal control of the piano. So I try to create as much variety in my technique practice as possible, so with scales, I'll sometimes practice them in thirds, in sixths, legato, staccato, different rhythms, sometimes with the hands crossed. And crossing the other way. Um, with hand and five finger exercises, things like this. And you can press that in all the keys, major and minor, staccato, legato, different rhythms. Um, different dynamics. So I think trying to create as so much variety in the practice is very useful um, because it makes it more interesting but also gets your fingers working in lots of different ways. The final thing I try to incorporate in my um, warm-up routine is I try to um, kind of make exercises out of some of the pieces that I'm studying. So for example, one of the pieces I've been working on a little bit at the moment has been the Mozart Sonata in A major, which ends with a very famous Ronda alla Turca. Now there's a section from that which involves a lot of broken octaves in the left in the right hand. So that can be made into a technical exercise. On the day when I practice broken octaves, I might well do that and practice with both hands. And then I can also practice doing that in different keys. So on. Um, similarly, I've been working a bit on the um, Beethoven Opus 109 Sonata, and the final variation of the final movement involves a lot of trills. So again, that can be used as part of your trill exercise. Um, I've also been working on the Paganini variations, um, the Brahms's variations on Paganini, um, where you've got all sorts of things there. Working on six, so we can make that into a little exercise. 
Um, there's the octaves near the end, which come in the right hand, but there's no reason why we cannot do them both hands together and make that into a technical exercise. And take it into different keys. So that's briefly some of the things I do as part of my warm-up exercise. Starting off with a few stretches away from the piano, then just running my hands on the keys, make sure I'm comfortable. Then going into something similar to the tankard routine here, incorporating five finger exercises, scales, arpeggios, octaves, double notes, and all sorts of different aspects of technique, but doing a wide variety of different exercises and sometimes taking sections from the pieces I'm studying and making that into technical exercises. So that's some of what I do as part of my routine. Hopefully it's given you a few ideas. I'd love to hear what some of you do as part of your daily practice routine and as part of your daily warm-ups. So feel free to leave some comments and um, I look forward to discussing that with you. If you want to know more about more information about what I do or see a few more of these videos, have a look at uh, my website, jonathandelbridge.com or my Facebook page, facebook.com, Jonathan Delbridge Piano. Thank you.